Welcome back to school everyone. For me and for many of you who are watching, things are looking a bit different this year. Where I live, classes have all moved online, and to accommodate that, our school has given us these new Lenovo 500e Chromebooks. And I will say, these are quite an upgrade from anything that we've had before. The 500e isn't your average cheap laptop. It's actually a convertible laptop and tablet hybrid, which means that you're getting some more premium features. Like many other tablet hybrids, this one has an IPS screen with good viewing angles, something that's almost required for using it as anything but a traditional laptop. Sadly, the screen is glossy, so it is a bit hard to use under direct light, but at least it is bright enough to view under the sunlight. There's also a stylus which you can write on the screen with. The software integration for this is pretty good. When you start writing with it, the computer changes the touch input to menu selection and scrolling. Admittedly, the palm rejection on the screen isn't perfect, and I do end up having to write a bit differently on this screen in order to make sure things stay in one place, but hopefully that'll be fixed with a software update. And be warned that the hinge feels a bit flimsy and the screen has a tendency not to stay in place sometimes. This laptop also feels very durable. Although the chassis is completely made out of plastic, there's no real flex on the keyboard deck. In what seems like traditional Lenovo fashion, there's also a drainage hole for the keyboard on the bottom of the chassis. However, the screen assembly is thin and it does bend. Maybe that's why the school installed a case on all the units it gave us. Hardware specs wise, this laptop is decent for a school Chromebook. It's got a quad-core Intel Celeron N4120 CPU and 4GB of LPDDR4 memory. So now I can open more than 4 Chrome tabs at once. Battery life is also decent. After a day of virtual classes through so about 4 hours of use, I was still left with 44%. I.O. wise, the two USB Type-C and Type-A ports should be enough for most users. And I really appreciate the USB Type-C charging, which is a feature that's not seen on some much more premium laptops. Good job, Lenovo. So the question is, should you actually get one of these laptops? I think it really depends. Currently, you can get one for about 400 bucks on Lenovo's website. But for around that same price, you can get a used convertible laptop with a bigger screen, more upgradability, and better performance overall. Personally, I would hesitate to get one of these for myself, but if it completely matches your workflow, I say just go for it. That's going to be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next episode of Tiger Steve Tech.